Hi, my name's Hannah. I'm a huge makeup enthusiast, not a professional, but someone who just loves makeup and skincare and all things beauty. So on my channel here, I review products, show you some of my favorites and send any offers out if I can find them for you. So if that's of interest to you, please subscribe below. It really helps my channel. And today I have a foundation test. I just received my package from Trini London. Trini London has relaunched, I think, their Rebalance foundation, and today I'm going to try it. So, open it with me, as you can see. This is a new packaging for me. The last time I bought anything from Trini London, they had a different packaging, I can't quite remember. But this is new, very nice. Always has the yellow and white, which is their traditional colours. And inside, here it is, BFF All Day Foundation, 30 millilitres. What shade did I buy? Does it say on the box? Okay, it doesn't say on the box, it'll probably say on the tube. So before I get out of the tube, I'll just tell you what the website says about this foundation. This is a lightweight formula with all day coverage with no caking. It's a breathable foundation. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> a breathable foundation with a modern natural matte finish that stays put all day or night, enriched with proceramide and vitamin B3 to bring out the best of your complexion. The formula smooths the skin, reduces the appearance of fine lines, comfortable coverage to rely on all day. There's 28 different stretchable shades. So, stretchable, read into that what you will. And on their website, there's Match to Me online tool, which is where you can put in all your details about your skin and they will match you with the colour they think will most suit you, which is quite helpful, to be honest. So anyway, let's have a look at the one I bought. There we go. New packaging. They used to be white, I think. Now it's yellow. And... Mine is Imi, I-M-Y. I don't know if you can see that on there. Can you see that? So that's, that's my shade. Let's put it onto the back of my hand to see what it's like. Okay. And you can see it's, well, I was going to say it's thick, but it's actually got quite a, serum-y texture to it, hasn't it, because it's already sliding down my hand. That gives you an idea of what it's like. Quite a good skin match for me, I think, going by that. I'll just rub it into my hand quickly, see what it looks like on my hand. Obviously my face is different, but yeah, that's quite a good match, isn't it? It's got a lovely lovely smell to it. It's like a um, fresh, I don't know, quite a trinny smell if you know her skincare line. Anyway, that's a really nice smell. So I will wear this today all day and I will check in with you tonight to show you what it looks like. But before then, I've got the BFF Cream Skin Perfector SPF 30 which I will use as my primer. I don't know if you're familiar with this product, but it's excellent for balancing your skin, reducing redness, and you can use it as your primer, which is obviously what I'm doing today. I need another pump of that. I'm using Tretinoin more these days, and my skin is super thirsty. Even though I've already got all my skincare on and I have still got SPF underneath because even though this has got SPF 20, sorry, 30, yep, SPF 30 in it, you still need to put your SPF on underneath. This is more of a top up than a reliable SPF. Well, it probably is a reliable SPF, but you'd need to put six pumps on your face, I think, <laughs> to get the coverage you actually need to be safe. But it's good to have the top up. 
There we go. My skin feels really hydrated now. And the redness is balanced out already, which is excellent. So I'm going to let this dry down for about a minute and I'll be back with you to try on the foundation. Okay, so I've given that a minute or so. It's still a bit tacky, but at least it's absorbed in a bit more, which I think is important. And now we shall try this. I'm going to try one pump initially. So I'll put one pump onto the back of my hand. And then go in with my foundation brush. I'll do one side of the face first so you can see the difference. I'll do this side. Yeah, quite a good colour match, I think. This here is something I like to cover, and it's hard to cover, so it'll be interesting to see if that goes. And also I get quite a bit of redness around my nose. So we can see if that goes too. Not bad coverage at all over that. Definitely a medium coverage. The redness here. Yeah, it's gone actually. Done quite well. So a good skin match. Good coverage. Covers redness. Looking good so far? So, what do you think? This side done, this side not done. See my redness here, gone here. My only marks to cover up on this side is a little bit of redness there. My cheeks are a bit red and my nose. So I'll now go in and do the other side. I'll speed this up for you so you don't have to watch it slowly. And I'll use one more pump. It took. Oh, what's going on there? Okay, it doesn't want to come out. <laughs> what's going on? Okay. Why is it. Oh, there we go. Okay. It still works. Got there in the end. So, one more pump for the other side of the face, and I'll speed this up now. So there we go, full face done, all the redness pretty much gone, no caking at the moment, actually looking really good to be honest, sorry I'm looking in this mirror, I'll zoom you in so you can have a closer look. There we go. At the moment, I'd say very happy with this. We'll see how my makeup works on top of this. I need to apply my concealer because my eyes look very strange at the moment. And then I'll go in with all my other products. And I'll be back when I've got my full face of makeup on so you can see how it looks. And then the check-in later this evening so you can see how it's lasted. And here's my final look. So I have tested this with just about every makeup on the planet. So I've put on creams, powders, everything. And so far, so good. Nothing's moved. I'll zoom you in. Yeah, nothing's moved. At the moment, the cakey areas here, here and here. Do some dodgy places. <laughs> I'm looking okay. So right now I'd say I'm very happy with it, it's a good colour match, it's very comfortable, as it says it is lightweight, it felt very hydrating when I put it on, it's not a very you know, thick heavy one at all, it's very comfortable and it smelled very nice which for some people they might not appreciate but I love that and the smell is now gone. Um, yeah, so it worked well with the primer, the Trini primer, 
well, I say primer, it's not called primer, it is called BFF cream, as I said at the beginning, but um, it can be used as a primer and it works very well as a primer because it gives you that boost of moisturisation underneath. So there we go. It's currently 10 a.m. in the morning. I'll do a check in. It's supposed to last eight hours. So in theory, I should check in at 6 p.m. to give you the eight hour check in. So that's what I'll do. See how it looks at eight. And sorry, at six. <laughs> I'll see you then. And here I am with my check in. It is actually one minute to 7 p.m. I don't know if you can see on my on my phone. So I have reached the nine hour mark. No, I haven't. Yeah, nine hour. <laughs> Honestly, I can't, can't figure out times these days. I have reached the nine hour mark. There we go. So I've passed the eight hour mark. So in theory, it should be shifting because I've passed the eight hour promised wear time. And from my experience, a promised wear time doesn't usually last. So if it says eight hours, it normally lasts six, seven. So I've reached nine. So. I have not looked closely at my makeup, so I will zoom you in to have a look. I'll get my mirror so I can see a bit more closely. Well, first thing I can say as a huge tick after all this time, zero caking. Even the chin actually. This area here, even if I'm wearing a hundred pound foundation or five pound foundation, always have a problem here. Here, here and here. And this is what this is done really, really, really well. You can see it's a little bit more shiny because my oils have come through a bit. I did powder it as the last step of my makeup and I haven't powdered it since. I haven't touched anything since apart from my lips. And that's really doing quite well. What do you think? I think it's held up really well. It's been comfortable to wear all day. It's survived me dashing about getting really hot because we've had sun beaming through the house today and I've been doing loads of things so I've been getting really hot and bothered and it survived that. It survived me eating a curry <laughs> and I'm not I'm just not careful with my makeup when I eat and drink. I'm a nightmare so I'm always and I'm always touching my face during the day. So for makeup to survive this long, with only an eight hour promise, to reach hour nine and be this good is excellent. I'm really pleased with this actually, really really pleased. So well done Trini. Whether this is the same as the last one or reformulated I honestly don't know, maybe someone can tell me down below. But what I can tell you is it's very good. I'll just zoom you back out. So I hope that this review has been helpful to you and if you'd like more reviews like this then please subscribe and like my channel. That really helps me so so much. Thank you for watching. Bye.